Good day. Today we'll talk about random variables. So zooming in, we can jumpstart our understanding of the statistical process through understanding statistical experiments. The notion of a statistical experiment is defined as random variables that relate to experiments. Random variable is a variable whose possible values are determined by chance. It is a way to map outcomes of a statistical experiment determined by chance into number. And it is typically represented by uppercase letter, usually X, and to represent one of its values, lowercase letter X is used. For example, a coin is tossed twice. Let X be the random variable that represents the number of tails in the experiment. Now let's have the tree diagram of possible outcomes of tossing a coin twice below. Now keep in mind that H is heads and T is tails. Okay, so for the first toss, we can have two possible outcomes. It can be heads and it can also be tail. Now for the second toss, it can also be head and it can also be tail. At the same time, if our first toss will give us a tail, second toss can also be a head and can also be a tail. So the possible outcomes in tossing a coin twice can be heads and heads, heads and tail, tail and heads, or tail and tail. Okay? So here, in our last column, number of tails or the value of the random variable x. Again, let us not forget that here, we define our random variable x to be the number of tails in the experiment. So that means the possible value of the random variable x are 0, 1, 1, and 2. It is 0 when the final outcome is head and head. Because there is no tail, so the number of tails here in this outcome is 0. And it can also be 1 if the final outcome will be heads and tails. It can also be 1 if the final outcome can is tails and heads. And it can also be 2 if the final outcome is tails and tail. So the sample space of the possible outcomes is heads and heads, heads and tails, tails and heads, and tails and tails. And the value of the random variable x is the number of tails in the possible outcomes which can be 0, 1, or 2. Now take note that the value of the random variable depends on how it is defined in the experiment. Now, there are certain types of random variables. First is the discrete random variable. Now, discrete random variables only take a finite or countable number of distinct values. Now, discrete random variables are often represented by non-negative whole numbers. Continuous random variable, on the other hand, assume an infinite number of values in an interval between two specific values. Values are results from measurement and can be represented by non-negative numbers, fractions, and decimals. So example, 
Let's identify if the following random variable is discrete or continuous and let's find its possible values. 1. Now the random variable x is the number of points the Sachs basketball team scored during the 2019 district meet. So the random variable x is, the, is a discrete random variable because the number of points incurred in a basketball match is countable. The possible values of the random variable x can be 0, 1, 2, and so on. Two, the random variable y is the number of biologically females in a brood of five. So the random variable y is a discrete random variable because the number of female in a brood of five is countable. The, no the possible values of the random variable y are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Example 3. Now the random variable z is the weight of eggs in a supermarket. So the random variable z is a continuous random variable because it can assume any value between any given weights. Next. Random variable a is the time your friend spends in studying statistics. Again, random variable A is the time your friend spends in studying statistics. So, random variable A is a continuous random variable because it can assume any value between any given time. And number five, B is a result in rolling a fair six-sided die. So, in rolling a fair six-sided die, the possible outcomes are finite. Meaning to say, random variable B is a discrete random variable. And the possible values of the random variable B are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so let's practice. Let's classify whether the random variable is discrete or continuous. Remember, if it's countable, it's discrete. If it's a product of measurement, then it's continuous. Number one, x is the number of siblings a student has. Correct, discrete random variable. Number two, why is the time a person can hold his or her breath? Correct, continuous random variable. Number three, Z is the weight of seashells in graphs. Correct, continuous random variable. Four, A is a temperature of a place in a given time. Correct, continuous random variable. G is the height of basketball varsity players in sacks. Correct, continuous random variable. 6. S is the number of social media accounts a person has. Very good, discrete random variable. So that's all for today. I hope... You have learned something and see you in our next videos.